Good evening, and welcome to Daybreak Warriors 2012 Year in Review. Uh, basically, I'm just going to do like a quick summation of the different projects that I have done in the year 2012, and 2012 was a great year. I'm kind of excited about what 2013 will bring, but 2012 was pretty awesome. So one thing that I had done um, in order to, you know, introduce more about the Navajo, Navajo language and Navajo culture. Um, this year I kind of put out more videos that kind of talked about different things like how to play the card game Navajo Tens. I talked about um, Navajo names, Navajo baby names, where those come from, what those are like. I talked about Navajo clan system, how the general Navajo clan system works. And I've even talked about Native American jewelry. What types of Native American jewelry are there? The different styles, the different stones, the different uh, tools and equipment that are involved. So I kind of talked about that. This year I was involved with an interesting collaboration. Google did contact me and they had asked me if I wanted to be a part of their um, Endangered Languages project, which basically um, this Endangered Languages project, they're trying to collect videos and media that kind of um, deal with saving um, endangered languages and since the Navajo language is an endangered language where um, the elderly still speak the language fluently but the younger generations aren't picking it up um, since I post a lot of videos about the um, Navajo language the Endangered Languages Project has linked my videos with their website so in order to help get the 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 language out there for people to use, for people to utilize. They've um, they've helped me, or they've I've been able to help them bring more awareness and give them more um, teaching tools in regards to the Navajo language. I'd also like to thank Jason Risman, who works with Google and who was working with me to kind of help kind of get everything situated to where I could become a part of the Endangered Languages Project and I'm glad that he picked me among other YouTubers to be involved with that project so I'm very very excited and thankful about that. I'm also excited to kind of mention that the first issue of the Navajo Times which is the tribal newspaper um, that circulates on the Navajo Reservation kind of featured me in regards to my YouTubing efforts and preserving and saving the Navajo language so they did a feature article of me in the Navajo Times and it was in the first issue that came out in 2012 not only that they also gave me a snippet in the last issue for 2012 among one of the most notable people um, of the year because of my YouTubing efforts in saving the Native American language so I do thank uh, um, the Navajo Times for kind of um, including me and all that and it's great and it's, it was it's awesome other things that I had done this year um, certain things came around such as the solar eclipse so I did do a, um, a video that kind of says how to say the solar eclipse in the Navajo language which is or one of the two um, since the, the, there was a annular solar eclipse that occurred this year and then since there was the transit of Venus that occurred I also did the Navajo name for planet which is um, um, also since the Hurricane Sandy came through I also kind of did a Navajo word of the day in regards to that which is for hurricane so those are just some ways you can say it. Different speakers may say different words, but that's basically the, the phrasing that I had chose for those things, since those were notable things that had occurred in the year 2012. On top of that, since it, I think it's good in terms of learning the Navajo language to hear instructions, I did tutorials on how to use a glucose meter, how to make a paper airplane, how to use a condom, how to cook a turkey. So those were certain things that we had talked about in terms of instructional videos on the Navajo language. I did a lot of video footage from different and very cool places like I did it at LA Comic Con, Phoenix Comic Con, 
the Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas. So to, this year I did branch out in terms of places that I had filmed some of my videos. And I always like to do Navajo words of the day and I tend to be inspired by places that I go, people that I meet, and this year I was able to meet a lot of famous people which I'm very thankful for and this is just some of the this is just some of the people that I had met this year that I'm very thankful that I had gotten to meet. I had gotten to meet Paul La Paul LaRush from the band Brule, the Native American band Brule. I was able to meet the movie star Moses Brings Plenty, the author Lucy Tabahanso, the painter Arlen Palay at Comic Con, along with the author of the Alice in Wonderland series. Uh, Frank Bedor at Phoenix Comic Con. I was able to meet the world champion hoop dancer Nakota Lawrence. I was able to meet um, the, one of the stars from Navajo Cops, Officer Christopher Holgate of the Navajo Police Force. And I was, I was happy to meet Rick Mora, who is another um, movie star that I had met at um, LA Comic Con. And I was also really glad to meet a fellow YouTuber, and I've always been and um, admired his work, and that would be Eric Ochoa, aka Ego the Cholo. So I was I was actually very glad to meet him. Not only did I meet him, I met Sleepy Brown, then I met Sleepy Brown's mom. So it was it was it was a great year for meeting a lot of really cool people out there um, because of YouTube. It was it was exciting. And also sh to show that the Navajo language is very versatile, I did post um, commercials that um, are broadcasted on KTNN, the local um, Navajo radio station that's on AM660, which you can also catch on the internet, which streams it live. Um, some of the commercials that are on there that show, that give informative um, information in the Navajo language um, for the elderly who primarily only understand and speak in Navajo, such as how to winterize your plumbing or well, home health care. And I hope to put up more in the future, but I just did those two for now. Last but not least, I was also able to meet Jerry Dean. Um, Jerry Dean is a Mexican folk singer from New Mexico, and he did a song called Christmas in New Mexico. And essentially, um, I was talking to a coworker of mine um, at the start of the Christmas season saying that there was a song I really liked called Christmas in New Mexico that I heard about and I was like we gotta hear it I didn't have my iPod at the time and so it was all we should um, YouTube it see if it's on there and I searched YouTube didn't find it and I was like wow that song really needs to be out there so in all honesty I didn't get his permission but I went ahead and posted it uh, with the lyrics and did some pictures and after that Jerry Dean saw it and he was very excited and I was glad that he he was fine with me posting his video and then from there um, within a month it got 5,000 hits and it even caught the attention of KOAT Action 7 News which they got in contact with us and they did an interview with us in regards to this video after that within one day it hit um, 10,000 views and I think now it's over 20,000 views and I'm just glad that um, it's such a great song it, it talks about the different um, 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 different cultures Hispanic cultures that are significant in New Mexico and that how that just kind of gives a whole different Christmas vibe um, so I was very glad to meet Jerry Dean and I was very honored to do um, an interview with KOAT Action 7 News in regards to all that which um, basically broadcasted that information to around the state of New Mexico. It was awesome. <laughs> so in the end, I'd like to thank everybody who was involved in my projects. I couldn't have done these videos without the help of my parents, who um, a lot of times when, I, um, when I'm doing the Navajo language, I would run it by them to say, am I saying this correctly? Am I saying this correct? So I'd always run it by my parents. Um, so I thank my my dad, Pastor Everett Teller, and my mom, Mary Teller, for, for their help in my videos. I thank my brother, Travis Teller, and Tanya, Tanya Dempsey, who are tend to be my cameraman and camerawoman, along with my brother-in-law, Hanson Dempsey, who they, they, they're my camera people, along with my parents. Um, 
and I, I thank them for all the help and support that they give me in regards to my YouTube project and it's, it's, it's been a fun hobby and it's, it's led to a lot of crazy and fun things and I would just like to thank God for, for all of it because it's through him that a lot of this has occurred and, and again like I really had picked up the Navajo language from reading the Navajo Bible and from singing hymnal songs and that's where I had learned a lot of the language and I and that's where my roots come from in, in regards to a lot of that and I can't leave God out in any of this at all but um, I'm just very thankful for how 2012 had ended it, it ended on a, a good note and um, a lot of cool projects and a lot of cool things occurred and I'm just excited to see what 2013 will bring and thank you for all you people who watch my videos and who who subscribe and who you know comment and who just like what you see on this channel thank you and and I would just like to close with saying um, I hope you um, enjoyed watching my videos and um, I hope you know that 2012 ended on a great note for you and Happy New Year um, Happy New Year.